early morning. Getting the jump start to the day. Heading to Menards to pick up some uh, supplies for the dog fence. And uh, we'll head back and start digging holes. See how much we can get done today. All right, just got back from uh, Menards. Got 17 posts, 100 feet of fence. So now I just gotta dig the holes. I'm gonna add, uh, at some point, I didn't get the material for it, but I'm gonna add two by fours like I did over here. On the top, there's one on the bottom, and I might do a middle one. Since we got dogs in here, uh, it might be a little more rough than just needed to protect the garden, but uh, yeah, that's it. So now I just gotta start digging. I shouldn't hit anything. I know where the electric is and all the power and everything is in this yard, so should be good. Right, if you guys are digging a hole, a bunch of holes, something like a fence or whatever buy or rent one of these yeah that makes quick work out of anything i don't know there's no trees around here so i don't have any roots or anything so that obviously helps but and i know there's no power i got a drain field over here but i think it's past it so and i was going slow kind of once i got over there but i think we're good i just gotta dig a few by hand and then uh they're set posts. I'm excited. I hate rocks. If it was up to me, I would never landscape with rocks. Yeah, the one thing I do want to stress too is uh, call the local utility place to come out and survey everything, mark everything, before you're digging a bunch of holes like this. put in they're sitting there they should be pretty close it's a four foot tall fence so i'm just gonna have them stick out four feet um pretty quick work now that because since i had it laid out yesterday i laid it out yesterday after work okay i get these four packed in here now what i'm gonna do i got that that's a corner i'm gonna do this corner so we're gonna pack this corner then I'm gonna pull a string between them and then I can line up all the center ones. And then once that is done, I'll go do that corner way down there and do the same thing. Okay, I'm sure I'll have someone say you should cement the corner post and the post by the doors. But I'm not going to do that. They're two feet down. I'm not too worried about it. If the time comes and they start moving or something, I'll uh, I'll just dig them down and cement them that way. I don't know. It's not too hard to dig in this ground. It's mostly sand, so. And pull the string. All right, we got one side done. Now for the long side. So I was in here editing this video and I thought I'd uh, give you guys kind of a useful tip um, of how to square up a corner. Um, and what I call it is uh, a three, four, five triangle. I think uh, that's probably pretty common. Um, there might be other names for it, but basically so you have a corner you can measure down, say, three feet. There's one, two, three. And then you can go over this way, four. One, two, three, four. And then this, so if this is three feet, this is four feet, this right here, 
should be five. Basically what this is, is three squared plus four squared equals five squared. Um, so what the, what you can do is you get you get one line the way you want it, and then you can take a tape measure and measure five, and another tape measure or a piece of string or something and measure four, and then five this this five measurement should hit this four measurement. So you can move this back and forth, this one right here, until it hits this five. So then if you measure from this point, this is three. If this from here to here is four, and this from here to here is five, you'll have a perfect 90 degree angle right here. And then what you can do is if you have uh, like a long, you know, if you're doing like 40 feet by whatever, you can make this 40 feet by 30 feet by 50 feet, you know, or any multiple, you can do six by eight by 10, you know, whatever you want. Um, but either way, that's a really good way to know that this is going to be a perfect 90 degree angle. All right, we got the uh, post all level. All done. So now we just got to uh, get the fencing on, staple that on. I still got to go get the door and then uh, we'll see if the dogs, if I need to go get two by fours and do all that sooner than later. I was going to wait. And hopefully they didn't try to dig or get underneath it, but we'll see how that goes. If I need to, I'll just go get some two by fours and get that done. All right, let's do the fence. fence on and this little guy a new little guard goose hangs out right below my feet so I usually don't take her out when I'm working she's cute getting big what are you doing Shadow. Supposed to guard the chickens. Not me. I just got back. Just got back from Fleet Farm. Got a gate. Just like the ones in my pig pen. This one's just a six footer. Cause my lawnmower is pretty much exactly four feet, maybe a little bit more, with the flat things down. So I didn't want to be annoyed to try to drive through here when I mow. So I got a six footer. It's a little big, but what's going on? Well, this one didn't have the bolt kind. This is like the screwing kind, which I don't know. I kind of like the bolt better, but I did the uh, same two-way two-way swing, which is nice. I could fit my uh, mower through there pretty easy. So now, the last thing I'm going to do, unless I end up having to get some two by fours and finish it off. Uh, is I'm gonna just tie wire some more gate on here just so the chickens don't hop through there. And I don't know, I got a kind of a little husky she might, if she really wanted to. She could maybe get through there sideways or something. I don't know, maybe not, but the chickens for sure could sneak through there. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so that's it. Got uh, everything I wanted to get done today. 
I love these double swing gate locks. There it is, my little helper. What can you do? Benny! <laughs>